Welcome back to the Trade Hacker Mindset. In this episode, I want to talk to you about how I'm going to be tracking my trades in 2023. Trading the markets can be difficult to master and seemingly just out of reach. Professional traders have a secret. Trading requires total mental and emotional control. It requires the Trade Hacker Mindset. All right, so let's jump into this discussion about how I will be tracking my trades in 2023. You can also go to navigationtrading.com slash journal, navigationtrading.com slash journal, and you'll be able to get an idea of, of what I'm using. So it's a, it's a, it's a web-based application, and, and basically what it is going to allow me to do is it's kind of a spreadsheet on steroids. So it's going to allow me to really get much more statistical data around my trades, performance information, you know, win your, your basic stuff, win loss, average return, you know, all, all the stuff that we as traders need to understand about our strategies. So it's going to, the, the cool thing about this is it allows me to upload my trades and, and I do this once a day. So at the end of the day or before the next trading day, I just go to my broker, upload a CSV file, upload it to the system, takes about less than two minutes. And then once the, once the trades are in the system, then I can go in and customize things. Like I can tag that specific trade as the type of strategy that I trade. We trade a lot of you know, multi-leg, uh, different variations of different option spreads kind of combined together to make one type of strategy. So you can, you can combine those and tag them as a specific strategy. That way you're getting statistical data on that, on that particular methodology. So that's cool. Um, and then the other piece is the statistics that it can pump out for you. And if you're, again, if you're audio only, you won't be able to see this, but if you're on YouTube, you'll, you'll be able to see all of the different types of things that you can look at to compare your statistics. Obviously you've got your win rate, you've got your average return, you've got your daily P and L you've got your, you know, profit and, and all that stuff. But it also allows you to dig a little bit deeper and, and it allows you to easily, you know, click on a specific strategy and then I can say, okay, here's, here's how this has been doing over a specific period of time. So you can segment by periods of time. You can segment, you can segment by the actual strategy. You can segment the software by the symbol that you're trading. You know, so maybe you trade a lot of SPX, so you can look at just your SPX trades. Maybe you trade a lot of futures, so you can segment just by your futures trades or just by your trades on individual stocks or whatever it might be. We trade a lot of different strategies. And so it's, it's the ability to do that is pretty cool. The other thing that you can do is you can actually journal these trades. So on the, on the site here, I'm showing an example where I can open up a specific trade and it gives me the ability to type notes. It gives me the ability to give my thoughts that I had at the time of the trade. You know, I, I trade a lot and I trade every single day. So for me to go back and look at a specific trade and see that it was a losing trade, for me to have a lot of memory around what happened there, it's probably not gonna happen, especially if it's a month or two later. So what I can do is I can actually type notes. And one thing that I'm a big fan of, and obviously this, podcast is called the trade hacker mindset is I'm a big proponent of documenting the mental side of, of your trades. So maybe that was, you were just not in a, you know, you weren't in a good headspace to be trading that day. Maybe you had some type of big project that you were working on that was taking away, that was distracting you from your trading. You can make notes about that, uh, on each individual trade and, or, you can document those notes on just specific trading days in general. So you can look at your trading calendar and make notes and documentation about what was going on that day. You know, you can, you can make notes about maybe it was the FOMC announcement or a CPI announcement or some big economic data announcement that would have an abnormal effect potentially on the price action of, of the individual uh, symbols that you're trading that day. So, all of those things, as you go back and you're analyzing your trades and you're, and you're trying to figure out 
how you can become a better trader, all of that stuff can be documented all into one place. The other cool thing about this, and, and this is not going to pertain to everybody, but I trade multiple accounts. You know, so I have one account that I just trade futures in. I have one account that I uh, trade specific strategies in. I have another account that I trade other strategies in. And, you know, maybe you have an IRA and a margin account and a cash account or whatever it might be, but you can upload all those into this platform. And what that allows you to do is you can segment analysis by specific account. You can bring them all together to analyze all of your trades, all as one portfolio. And there's, you know, just, just an infinite number of ways to slice and dice the different analysis that you're trying to, uh, trying to determine based on the type of trading you do. The other thing is, I, you know, I mentioned notes and you can, you can type in notes about maybe a mistake you made or whatever, but there's also a, a component within the software specifically to mistakes. So let's say that you have a very specific trading strategy and one of the mistakes that you tend to make over and over is that you get out too early. So you can create kind of a template mistake that is called exit too early or, you know, or something like that. And you can document that by a single click by just adding that as a mistake to your, to your view on the screen. So as you're scanning through your trades and let's say you just want to scan through your losses and see what kind of notes or mistakes that you might've made, uh, it's, it's just quick and easy to, uh, to scan and see and document those types of things. You know, I mentioned a, you know, allocating and, or excuse me, analyzing trades from a specific date or, or custom date range. You know, maybe there's a specific situation where over a period of time, implied volatility was super high. You know, everything was moving, moving really crazy. So it would be interesting to go back to your trades and see how did these different strategies perform in this specific market environment. So when that market environment comes around again, you will know that maybe strategy A is not what you want to be trading and you want to focus more on allocating money to strategy B or vice versa. Uh, the other thing is if you, you know, one thing that I haven't been good at with, you know, just tracking my stuff on spreadsheets is, you know, long versus short. You know, obviously, if you're in a bullish market and you continue to do, you know, short delta, short bias trades, those probably aren't going to do very well. Versus if you're in a down market and you're doing nothing but bullish strategies, that's probably not going to perform very well. So being able to look at the side of the trade, whether, whether it's a long or short trade, can be a big uh, benefit to, to going back and doing the analysis of your trades. Obviously, that becomes hindsight right? That was what you don't, you didn't know that was going to happen to begin with, but all of these little insights, all of these little details that you document, document about your trading is going to compound and accumulate into a pile of mental notes. And now, you know, in documenting in here, actual physical viewable notes that you can go back and use to become a better trader. Now, this podcast, the trade hacker mindset, all about the mental part. I cannot stress enough how documenting your trades in detail can help you from a psychological standpoint. Uh, you know, we talk about position size a lot, you know, that, and that maybe that's a mistake that you see yourself making, you know, I got too big on this specific trade, but all of these little things that, that create issues in your trading, if you can document those and analyze those and go back and think about those and, and, and so that when you get in that situation again, you continue to minimize the mistakes. Mistakes. We will never, we will, as traders, we will never eliminate mistakes. We will never eliminate losses, but you don't have to, to be profitable. If you can minimize and you can lessen those losses and less and, and take take benefits from those trading lessons, you are going to see your, your, your P and L explode. So this is what I'm doing starting in 2023. Uh, obviously starting out, I'm not going to have a ton of data on my trades. I still have my old spreadsheets that I can refer back to as well, but going forward, you know, over the next 12, you know, six months, 12 months, 18 months, three years, 10 years, we will have a, a you know, very complete, um, 
compounded effect of all of the benefits that it, that we'll see from from trading. And so really excited about that. I think it's going to, you know, even take my trading to another level and I hope you look at doing something similar because it will it will absolutely help your trading. There's nothing negative that I can tell you about documenting trades. Only positive. The only negative is you have to put in the time. So make the leap, do it, and I look forward to being there with you in 2023. Take care.